Hey everybody, welcome to Jay Stern Designs. If you're watching this video, that means you have purchased one of my Easy Fit and Sew patterns. And to thank you, I'm gonna start including videos that will show you how to make the garment start to finish. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to put together the PDF pattern if that's the way you purchased it. Each pattern is gonna be available in a printed version or an instant PDF download. So if you downloaded your pattern, you have it ready to go, I wanna show you how to put the pieces together. For this sample, I'm using the raglan sleeve top pattern. If you're working with a different pattern, say the yoga pants, for example, don't worry, the steps are the same and the layout is gonna be very similar as well. I just wanna make you aware that you don't need to trim around all the sides of all the pieces to tape them together. So I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to do that. Um, when you purchase the PDF version of any pattern, you know, there's a cover page. It's a color cover page. You can feel free if you wanna set your printer to black and white to save on color ink, um, certainly feel free to do so. And then we have the layout pages and all patterns will have that. And then you have a PDF assembly guide. That's the um, page that shows you what the overall layout of the pattern is. I'm gonna put this aside for a second. Each pattern also has tips for fitting and sewing success. I highly recommend reading the, this whole page before you start cutting out your fabric because you may discover something in the fitting section that you may wanna do to your pattern before you start working with the fabric. So just read through the instructions you know, especially this page before you get going. All right, and then just to show you, the instructions themselves are full of illustrations that I have for almost every step. So we have that. And after the instructions, the last page um, before we get to the pattern piecing is the sizing chart. And there are specific instructions for each garment using your body measurements to pick out your size. If you have any questions about how to pick out a size, please post your comments um, and I will help you. All right, so then we get to the actual pattern itself. And you can see here, I've already taped together the first row, okay? And the raglan sleeve pattern has um, six rows that are taped together. And there are four um, sheets in each row. I spend a lot of time trying to position these pieces to use the fewest amount of sheets possible. So some of the pieces may be upright and some may be laying on their side um, compared to each other. And in some patterns, there are rows that don't have the same number of pages because I may not have needed the full four pieces of paper across a row to fit the pieces. So check your assembly guide and if there's a blank square or if there's no square there, that means when you tape your pattern together, that row may only have three pieces. So make sure you have this assembly guide handy when you start working on your pattern, especially if it's not the raglan sleeve. The instructions for which sides to trim are listed on the PDF. So if you've watched the video and then you forget, you can just you know check the instructions, but I'm gonna tell you that the first three pages in every row, so in the top row it was pages one, two, and three, all you have to do is trim the right side of those pages and then tape them together. And that would be the same for the second row too. The only difference between the first row and the second row is that we're also gonna trim off the top edge. Okay, so this is what the sheet is gonna look like after you've trimmed. Okay, you can see this sheet, I've trimmed the top edge and the right edge and it's gonna fit right underneath page one like this to start the second row. Okay, so you have a choice. You can trim each page and tape it as you go, or you can form your second row and then tape it on all at once. I'm gonna trim the next four, three pages, tape them together, and join these two rows together. You can see page five is done, so I'm gonna do page six. And basically what I'm just gonna do is trim off, I'm gonna use my rotary cutter and a ruler, and I'm gonna trim the top and the right side. And then I'm gonna trim the top and the right side of page seven as well. Okay. 
Okay, and then the last sheet in the in the row, eight, just needs to be trimmed on top because it's on the end and there's nothing taped to the right side of that last sheet. So I'm gonna go ahead and just trim off the top edge of number eight. Okay. All right, so now I'm gonna tape these together. And I'm just gonna butt the cut edge against the printed trim line on page six, like this. I'm just gonna put some tape. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with six and seven. I'm gonna butt the cut edge against the trim line. that. And then finally I'm going to put pages 7 and 8 together. Okay, so that's how you complete an entire row. Now, if you want to finish all the rows and then tape the rows together, you can do that. I'm going to tape these two together right now to show you how to do it. Okay, so I've got my first row, my second row, and basically I'm going to just line up the cut top edge with the um, trimmed edge on the top of the second row. And if you taped all the edges together correctly, everything should match up. Okay. All right, so that's how you tape the pages together. I'm gonna finish taping this together and then I'll show you what the whole pattern looks like after it's all put together. Here's what my pattern looks like after I've taped all the pages together. I have my front piece, my back piece, and the sleeve. And you'll notice the sleeve is laying sideways compared to the up and down of the front and back. The cuff is located up here at the top. Okay, so the cuff is up here um, between the front and back. Sometimes when you're taping the pieces together, it kind of helps to know what the lines are as you're trying to match them up. I think it makes it a little easier. All right, so that's how you tape together the pieces. If you have any questions about that, please post them below and I will help you. Um, I hope you're enjoying this video and I hope you um, enjoy working with my pattern. I will help you every step of the way. As a matter of fact, I will see you in the next lesson when I show you how to lay out your fabric and cut out the pieces.